Hey guys, welcome in to what I hope to be the first of many tutorials in which I show you how to do some cool things with Tableau. Hopefully teaching you some cool tricks along the way. Today I'm going to be doing something pretty simple. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create buttons for navigation. What I mean, what I mean by buttons is pretty simple. We have two dashboards. We have a score dashboard and a pass score dashboard. And we want to create buttons to navigate essentially between the dashboards. As you can see, I have a functional model here. We have my score dashboard, and if I hit go to pass score, it'll take me to the pass score, and vice versa. If I hit go to score, it'll take me back to the main score tab. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to create that from scratch. The first thing we'll start with is a data set. So I have my data right here. I'll call this score. I'll copy this data. Now the first thing I want to highlight about Tableau that is pretty amazing is that when you create a new workbook, you could go ahead and just copy and paste data straight into it, and it will create it as a data source. So as you can see now, I have my first data, which will be my score. I'll go ahead and create a quick table. There you go. Duplicating this, I'm gonna create my second element, which will be my, let's call it Christmas score. Now for this one, I'm going to be showing two types of scores. I'm going to show my normal score. Now to duplicate a field, you can hold Command on a Mac and drag the field, and you'll create a copy of it. I'm going to go ahead and now edit this, say plus 100, and then the second score, I'm going to color it yellow for the holidays. So just like that, I have two data sets, score, Christmas score. The next thing we need are our score dash, I'm going to make them kind of small so that they're easy to look at. 300 by 300 should do it. I'll bring my score. All right. I'll duplicate this to keep the properties and the same size. And I'll call this Christmas score. Oh, excuse me. Dash. Christmas score dash. So bringing the Christmas score in. Now I have my two views. Pretty simple. Next thing I have to do is create the buttons. The buttons are essentially going to be worksheets. So we'll have our score button. Now to create a button, you need to have an object to put text into. The way I do this is by creating an empty string by just putting quotations and assigning it a label. Just like that, I'm able to now call this score button. Let's make it a little bigger. Maybe we'll make the bottom blue. And oh, there you go, score button. We'll go ahead and align in middle. Now I'll duplicate the same one and now we'll have our Christmas button. Click the text, edit the text. Now we have Christmas. Now, one more thing I want to do is click on the tooltip and disable them so that when someone hovers over the button, they will not see anything. You could change this if you want to maybe add instructions such as click here or give more information. So now we have our dashboards. Let's go ahead and load our buttons. I'll just put both buttons on each. Score and Christmas. And pull this up. Now I'd like to make this fit everything just so that it looks nice and neat. Uh, fit everything and then we're gonna get a title here. Perfect. Next one, we'll need our score button and our Christmas button. Here we go. Now, fit entire view. Fit entire view. I don't need this. Let's make this a little nicer to look at. Oh, I don't need this. There you go. And now just complete the look. There you go. So now that we have everything showing, we're happy with the way it looks, we need to start adding actions to our buttons. For now, they're just worksheets. If you click on them, you highlight them, there's nothing else. So I'll go ahead and hide everything that doesn't need to be there, make it easier to look at at the bottom. So the way you do buttons is that you're going to be adding from the worksheet. You're going to go to the dashboard on the top, hit dashboard actions, and it'll pop up this menu. So from dashboard actions, you're going to add an action called filter. The first filter will be a score to Christmas button. Now this is going to be originating from, we need to define the score dashboard. Because if you're going to the Christmas button, then you have to be in the score dashboard. The button will be the Christmas button. 
it will be activated on a select. All of the choices make sense, they're pretty intuitive. Now the target sheet will be the Christmas dash. We want to make sure that we're also selecting the same button and showing all the values. Now just like that, we're going to do the same thing and now create a Christmas to score button. This will originate in the Christmas, but it will be triggered by the score button on press and it will send you to the score dash to the score button. So just like that, we've created now actions for this dashboard. So let's test them out. We're in the Christmas score dash. By clicking score button, it's taking us to the score. And by clicking Christmas, it's taking us back. So just like that, you guys have been able to create a very few, you know, cool thing.